Okay, welcome to this video presentation. We're going to show for you today the cotinine test device. Cotinine is the first metabolite of nicotine, so this is a smoking detection test. The cutoff is set at 200 nanograms, which means it will not indicate any passive inhalation of smoke. The cutoff is simply too high for that. This will only give you a positive if the person has actually smoked nicotine or cigarettes in the previous two to three days. So if we open this test cassette and show you what you get in the test, inside each pouch you will have a bag of desiccant which is a dry silicon uh, granule pouch to keep the uh, test in peak condition. You dispose of that, there's nothing to be done with it. And here you have the saliva, sorry, the urine cassette for cotinine. It's labelled on the top here as COT for cotinine. You've got a C line here indicated for a control and a T line for the test which is your results window. And the S or sample well here which is where the sample is applied. So if we get a sample and apply it for you, you'll see this test membrane running. Just going to apply three drops of sample. This would normally be human urine. And then you'll see almost immediately the pinkish dye starting to run in the uh, results window. It's osmotically absorbed up the membrane, passed through the test area and the control area. You're looking for the presence of a control line and then the presence or absence of a test line. This is negative binding technology as with all drug screens. So if there is no drug in the sample, the dye binds at the test line and gets a test line and a control line. If there is uh, cotinine in the sample above 200 nanograms, you will get no test line forming at 5 to 10 minutes, just a clear control line. But with this test result, you can see a clear negative result with both the control line and test line showing uh, in as little as 30 seconds. There's no need to wait for the full development time where you've got clear two lines showing. That's a clear negative result. So we've performed a test for smoking on that sample and it's negative. They're very easy and quick to do, very easy to interpret. See the technology is really no more complex than running a home pregnancy test. Reliability and accuracy on these is extremely high, looking at over 99% in batch certification compared to gas chromatography mass spectrometry. So a very nice, simple, easy and reliable quick check for smoking. These are used extensively in occupational health and insurance medicals where people are uh, claiming to uh, not be smokers. Uh, people aren't being uh, told necessarily that their urine will be screened for this, but you have the ability with this to detect if somebody's uh, uh, inhaled cigarette smoke in the last two to three days.